Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bonnie Eyes Bravado, and we're here with another time of Re I can't even remember Ring Talk with Eyes. Anyway, I have a beautiful Lucy Payne. I do say beautiful because if you know she's a fighter, she really is. I thought a model at first. Oh, Seriously, <laughs> I was like, wait a second, she's a fighter. I don't even see Bruce or anything. But this is the Lucy Payne. You all should know where she has many, many, many belts, don't you? Yeah, and she's been fighting since she's been 13. So let's talk about that. Oh, and let's not forget we're at the beautiful Hard Rock. And if you can see outside later, you can see some girls in the Are you going to put your bikini on? I've got it on already. Oh, cool. she got it. oh, so she's like, I'm going to do this interview, but she's probably going to be like, I'm going to go outside. We really have to go. <laughs> Full party. Yes. All right. So you got started when you were 13 years old. Uh, yeah, I was trained at the age 13. I didn't stop until I was 16. Uh, well, I you went to the because I mean, you grew up in England. Yeah. So it's very big high fashion. I have to bring that up because you're with your height and everything. You got approach modeling. Uh, I got asked to model when I was actually you waiting to fight before. <laughs> it was just um, to go and have like a bit of a chat really. But um, Al Pinkovich, they saw me in London. But I was actually on my way to a weigh-in so I had to turn it down. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I started training at 13 just with a couple of friends in the gym. Um, over time they got fed up with it, just lost interest, but I was like more and more addicted. What got you into the fighting? Um, just was it your just, friends? Did you have My friends or? got me into the gym because they wanted to go. But, what um, workout? What about like, yoga? I mean fighting? <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed really exciting to yeah. be addictive, it's good fun. Um, Did you have some aggression to take out? Not really, no, no. no. Just, just exercise? Yeah, it's just good fun. <laughs> and then um, having role models in the gym, also I've got Judy Kitchen in my gym, looking up to her training and stuff, mm -hmm. she's like, that's what I want to be like, that's who I want to be like. Really? It's so, just, you looked at her and said, this is Yeah, it's like motivation, so um, over time my friends gave up, and I just kept going until I was good enough to fight wow. myself. But did, you never saw yourself as a fighter when you were younger? Um, no, I just thought I'd give it a go and see what, what you doing? Like. What were you going in school? Like, let's go back, you know, when you were younger. What was I doing in school? Mm -hmm. Just like, did you feel like, what do you want to be when you grow up, basically? Because um, everybody was changing. Yeah, I wasn't too sure really. Um, my dad wanted me to do modeling. He said if I could get into it to do it, just purely because of my height. Mm -hmm. um, and how tall are you? 5'11". 5'11", that's yeah, what I thought. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I wasn't too sure. What yeah, I she's in her flip-flops because she's <laughs> tall. <laughs> and she's ready for the pool. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, um, I did quite want to work with animals when I was in school. Really? Yeah. So you were thinking about being a veterinarian? Uh, I actually wanted to work in a zoo. You would a zookeeper. Man, she just keeps surprising me. Yeah, well, Model zookeeper. Yeah. But, um, what was it that you loved about the animals? Did you have just pets when you were younger? Uh, yeah, I had a dog. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I just thought it would be a then fun job. Then you wanted a zebra. <laughs> just thought it would be fun, that's all. Yeah. It looked like a nice job. Everyone was happy when they were a zookeeper. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. No, I love it. This is what I want. I want everybody. I want the fans to be able to see the real you. You know, you get the interviews and it's all technical and that's all wonderful, but isn't yeah. it nice to be able to really tell people yeah. who you are? Yeah. You, don't have to, you know what I mean? Yeah, we got to sit with our legs crossed because we have skirts and we have all that <laughs> drama and stuff, but for, you know, but you really are. You seem girly girl. Like, uh, yeah, well, at the minute, my job is working in a salon. Yeah, so you're a beautician. Yeah, that's so what I do. How did that all start? You're like, I have to get my nails done? Uh, and I'm sick of paying? I'm supposed to do it, it myself? It all started with, like, work experience. In school we have to do work experience mm -hmm. and um, I got work experience in the salon I thought it might be something that's a fun job so I thought I'd give it a go and um, I actually really enjoyed it when I was doing my work experience so I just thought well, that's what I'm going to do in college and just went and did it and um, contrast to fighting really but, yeah. <laughs> but um, it's really nice. That's cool though, she can fun. look good when she fights. <laughs> <laughs> and also now, okay now I have to see your nails. Okay, what, that is like the new style, right? You gotta put it on the one? Yeah, or you can have, how did that, you can have the thumb as well, but I don't know how that came you, about, but... It's just, I know, I, I, all of a sudden I was like, wait a second, I was looking at people's nails, I'm like, wait, is that right? And I've seen other people, I'm like, I guess. It's, it's a like trend, a way, yeah. It's a trend. <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite type of nails to do? Um, probably this stuff, Shellac. Or minks, I've got minks on my toes. Okay. Yes, we have to, let's get a close up of her toes because she, this is awesome. The union She's nuts. wrapped in. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really cool. How long does that take to do? 45 minutes to an hour. That's it? Did yeah. so you do other people's nails now? Like yeah. Still on busy, but yeah. you're also fighting? Yeah. So that's your doing so, part time? Yeah. But um, obviously it's, it's hard if you've got a fight and then you've got to work. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So how, how often like do you take off like when you're working? And like, then you know how to fight for training? Um, 
whenever I've got five and a half to book time off work, I work part time, so I work at the end of the week. So, so how so much do you give like, time for training? Um, I'll train whenever I can, so on days off, three times a day, maybe. It seems like you're very busy. Um, well, <laughs> if you're fighting, you kind of have, you have to get the training in, but that's the unfortunate part. Like, I have to work as well, there's no big sponsorships or anything that's going to pay for me to just train all day. Um, so I've got to go to work. That's which means, awesome, so you're doing it yourself. Yeah, which means I have to. So she needs sponsors. <laughs> yeah. That's what you need to say. Yeah. She needs yeah. sponsors. We need to sponsor this girl. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yes, yeah, so I have to. I have to work which means I have to cut back on some training time so it's just the way it Well I can already see campaigns or a model so I don't I don't understand you should be sponsored by every fight. <laughs> Victoria's Secret, come on. I can see that. <laughs> that would be nice. What company would you want to model for if you could? Um, any. Any. It just like even if it's just she's so modest and she's so pretty and you just seem so sweet. I would have never like I would never know you're a fighter. If it wasn't me watching your interviews or looking at stuff, I would just walk past and be like, wow, she's a really pretty girl. Oh, thank you. But do you get that a lot? Like, um, yeah, not many people know what I do. And if I, if I do tell my like, clients, for example, if they ask. That's what I was going to ask you too. How are you um, doing with your clients? Do some of them get nervous and a little starstruck? No, maybe? some of them are just a bit, like they don't quite believe it at first. They, they, <laughs> yeah. ask they think it's questions. just part of you talking while yeah, you're doing or I think, or I think they think that it's like, Maybe just training and not actually competing. It's, mm -hmm. I don't think they realise how. Okay, you need to get your poster up and like, or some of your belts and yeah. put it on. And, <laughs> to display them around. And the then your tits would be better too. I'm yeah. sure they will tip better. So they're like, wait a second. Be like, yeah, you see that belt? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I should try that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel though with going into the fight? I thought with the height advantage, and a lot of people did thought that the fight was going to go differently. Um, yeah. Where do you think it? She's <laughs> like, yeah. Where do you think you went wrong? Do you think maybe you should have uh, trained more? No, I didn't think it was anything previous to the fight that I could have done more. Okay. Um, I just, it was simple. I made a mistake in there. Took a hard shot. Um, I went backwards. One thing so I you know was where you're drilled, Yeah. One thing I was drilled not to do is to go backwards. Tiffany's a clever fighter. She sees. You did. You got to the ropes. She sees someone beating her or something. <laughs> is that when it is the first time you went to the rope? Was that when you're like, I knew I wasn't supposed to do this. And straight after. Yeah. After I, straight after I knew I made a mistake, but um, it happened. But it just, it that, that just doesn't say because with not everybody, like the people out there listening, obviously not everybody's a fighter out there. So explain to them how that is. It's like you, you get pushed in a corner, there's really no way to get out, right? No, That's um, why it's more of like dancing around, it's really hard. Like, yeah. you know, I could have just moved in the corner, if, but it's... If I could have stayed in the center of the ring and just kept her away, I would have been fine, yeah. But, um, but the weight... It pushes you back. I just, I just took a hard shot. I just got caught. Made a mistake. Walked backwards, which I shouldn't have done. And um, then she, she just had the Still, I mean, you don't really look like you fought. I thought a little. I was like, yeah, you know, I, was I wasn't in there very long. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I just, just got caught. It happens. Yeah. Like, um, just have to put it down to experience and hopefully get a rematch. Do you want to re? You know, have a rematch? Yeah, definitely. Because like, I know, I know, I'm capable of winning. It's just. Okay, that's good. Do you, are you also going to review tapes and stuff? Like when you train, do you yeah. watch and say, yeah. that you're going to be like, okay, that's where I can't yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just have to watch it, learn from it. And have you reviewed anything yet? Not yet. Not yet. She's like, I'm still on vacation. That's why you're going to the pool. Like, I'm going to relax. Usa, Usa. And then I get home and back to training. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So what is your next fight? Do you have something planned? Nothing yet. Yeah, no. Yeah, talk of things that happen. Is there anybody you want to fight coming up and saying, well, I want to fight that person? Um, no, I don't think so. Not, not particularly. No, no. I'd, I'd, I'd like a rematch with Tiffany, but... <laughs> She's like, I want the rematch. That's, that's how did it all get started? Because, I mean, there's rumors that Tiffany wanted to set up with the fight, or how did it all come about? Um, originally, we we had the fight in January, and instead they brought over Lexus and mm -hmm. another British girl. Um, from what we knew, the fight was all set and pretty much going ahead. Yeah. And um, then my coach got some emails saying. Yes, by the way, let's say hi to him. Is she going to turn it? She's going to paint him after. I'm going to learn. You're going to teach me how to do it. Um, yeah, my coach got some emails saying that um, they'd said I was too tall and not suitable, so they were fighting That's what someone I was else. Say, so I, I'm, I'm really curious how it happened, and all of a sudden you're not too you're okay, or did you like shrink a little bit at the weight? <laughs> because I was wondering well, that too. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I hated it. Yeah, but they said I was too tall, so they had chosen Alexis instead, um, which 
they say that's not true, but that's what we had sent through. Yes. And then, um, and when she... That's why you gotta love Google. When she, yeah. <laughs> and then when she fought Alexis, she called me out afterwards, so... I was, well, that, I was glad, because I just wanted to get it, wanted to get it done, because yeah. we thought we were going to have to fight earlier in the year anyway. So... Um, just get it done now. But and now I need a rematch. <laughs> She's like, I want a rematch. <laughs> yeah. Did you think, well, yourself, you already said, you know, where the mistake went, but how many rounds did you think it was going to go? Um, well, in my head, I always think that it's going to go in five. I'm always prepared to do five mm -hmm. rounds. I think you go in thinking you're only going to do three, and then you get into the fourth and you panic. So okay. like, I always put it just down to the end, get the whole way. How do you prepare for a fight, too? Is there like a certain ritual or something you do? Maybe a certain food or a certain... No, not really. I try and visualise the fight. Mm -hmm. I, I try and visualise it going your way, but it's, you can't do anything about it when you're in there, really. Just, as I said, anything can happen. Like, like before, shock change it. before you walk out, what do you do? Are you, are you talking to your fans, say something on Twitter? No. No? no um, Where's I, your mindset? I kind of put my phone away.